In this video, we're going to talk about simultaneous equations with indices. So we already have an example on the screen. Let's say I'll call this equation 1. So I'll name this equation 1 and then name this equation 2. To solve this kind of problem, I need to simplify these two equations. So I need to convert these two equations to linear equations because now they are exponential equations. So I need to convert them to linear equations. So I'll be saying from equation 1, this is 3y is equal to 3 to the power of 2x plus 2. Now if you look at this equation, you have a base number of 3 here and you have a base number of 3 here. So you can always cancel out the base number and leave out the exponents. So 3 can cancel out 3. So this is y is equal to 2x plus 2. So now we've simplified equation 1 into a linear equation. So we can call this equation 3. From equation 2, I have 27 exponent is equal to 27 exponent x plus 3. Now the first step to take for here in order to simplify this is to break down the base numbers into the simplest form possible. So in this case we could not break down 3 into a smaller number. But in this case 27 can be broken down into a smaller number. And we know that 3 cubed is 27. So 3 cubed times y is equal to 27 here is still 3 cubed. And then this is x plus 3. So if you simplify this further, you have 3. This is an indices problem. So 3 times y is 3y. And this is equal to, we have 3 times x. You have the base of 3. And 3 times x is 3x. Plus, you have 3 times 3, which is 9. So now we have like bases. Now our bases can cancel out each other. So they will have 3y is equal to 3x plus 9. So we can easily call this equation 4. So now that we have equation 3 and equation 4 together, let's bring them together. So equation 3 is giving us y is equal to 2x plus 2. Let's call this equation 3. And then equation 4 is giving us 3y is equal to 3x plus 9. Let's call this equation 4. So we can then solve this equation to get our value of x and y. So I'll be using substitution method to solve this equation. So for substitution method, I'll be picking equation 3. So equation 3 or is already in this subject of formula. So I'll be substituting equation 3 into equation 4. So this becomes 3. So I'll be replacing y is equal to this value. So I'm replacing this y with this value. So this becomes 2x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 9. So I have 3 times 2x. This is 6x plus 3 times 2. This is 6. And then this is equal to 3x plus 9. So collecting like terms, I have 6x. And I'm moving x, 3x over to this side. This is plus 3x moving over to this side. becomes minus 3x is equal to 9. 6 moving over to this side becomes minus 6. Let me clean up a bit of space. So 6x minus 3x, you have 3x is equal to 9 minus 6 is 3. Now I can divide both sides by 3. So this is divided by 3, divided by 3. So x is equal to 3 can cancel out 3 and then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So for my value of y, I can use equation 3 because it's already in terms of y. So for y, I'll be saying y, I know that y is equal to 2x plus 2 from equation 3. Let me clean up space. So my y is equal to 2, open bracket, x is 1. So 1 plus 2. So y is equal to 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2. So y is equal to 2 plus 2 is 4. So I have the value of x to be equal to 1. And I have the value of y to be equal to 4. Let me clean up a bit of space. So I can always try to verify my answers when I finish solving my equations. So let's pick equation 1 to verify the answer. 
I can also pick equation two, but I'm deciding to pick equation one. So from equation one, I have three power of y is equal to three power of two x plus two. So I will substitute my x values and my y values into this equation. So I know that y is equal to four. So two, three to the power of four is equal to x is equal to one. So three power of two times one plus two. So this is three to the power of four is equal to three to the power of two plus times one is two plus two. So three to the power of four, three to the power of four is equal to three to the power of four. So that means my answers are correct for this set of equations. Let's take another example. So for example two, if you notice our question is a bit different from the one we had before because the base numbers are not equal. So if you look at this, let's call this equation of one and let's call this equation two. The first step is to simplify this into a linear equation. So from equation one, let's say we have two to the power of x plus three to the power of y is equal. If you look at this, you cannot break this two to the power of x into a smaller term and you cannot break this into a smaller term. And another problem we are having is that there are two different bases here. So to solve this issue, we need to assign these values into another value to convert this equation to a linear equation. So I could say let m is equal to two to the power of x. Now this is uniquely for problems that have problems that looks like this. I could say, okay, let n is equal to three to the power of y. So this becomes m is equal to two to the power of x to so m plus n is equal to two, three to the power of y. So this is n is equal to 10. So I'll call this equation three. Now that we've simplified it into a linear equation. For equation two, so I'll be saying from equation two, from equation two, I have two to the power of x plus one plus three to the power of y plus one is equal to 29. Now we don't directly have two to the power of x and three to the power of y, but we can simplify them, we can simplify this equation further. So if you try to simplify this equation, two to the power of x plus one, can be interpreted as 2 to the power of x times 2 plus 3 to the power of y plus 1 can be interpreted as 3 to the power of y times 3 is equal to 29. So this is equal to 2 times 2 to the power of x plus 3 times 3 to the power of y is equal to 29. So Remember, 2 to the power of x already had a value from this equation, from the formal equation. So I could just replace m with 2 to the power of x and n with 3 to the power of y. So this is 2m plus 3 times n, and this is equal to 29. So we have our fourth equation on ground. Now let's collect them together. The equations are m plus n is equal to 10. So this is equation 3. And equation 4 is 2m plus 3n is equal to 29. It's equation 4. So to solve these two equations, I'll be still be using the substitution method. So I'll be picking equation 3 first. So I'll be saying from equation 3. Equation 3 is giving us m plus n is equal to 10. So I need to make one of these values the subject of formula. So let me make m the subject of formula. So m is equal to, if n is going to the other side, it becomes 10 minus n. So we already have a value for m. Let's call this new value for m equation 5. So we need to substitute equation 5 into equation 4. So for substituting it into 4, equation 4 is giving us 2m plus 3n is equal to 29. So this becomes 2 times m. m is 10 minus n. So 10 minus n plus 3n is equal to 29. So we have 2 times 10. This is 20 minus 2 times n. So minus 2n plus 3n is equal to 29. So from here, we have minus 2n plus 3n is m 
and then we had plus 20 going to the other side is minus 20 so this is equal to 29 minus 20 so that n is equal to 29 minus 20 is 9. now since we have the value of n we can get the value of m using equation 5. so from equation 5 we have m is equal to 10 minus n so this is 10 minus 9 and this is equal to 1 so m is equal to 1 so we have m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 9 so we solved our simultaneous linear equations and we got to our m and n but we don't got to our value for x and y and that's the main thing we are looking for in this problem so to do that recall that m is equal to 2x and n is equal to 3y so for value of x for x find our x value we say m which is 1 so 1 is equal to 2 to the power of x now 1 can be written as 2 to the power of 0 so this implies that 2 to the power of 0 is 1 and this is equal to 2 to the power of x so you can now cancel the basis so that x is equal to 0 so for value of y we know that n is equal to 3 to the power of y now n value is equal to 9 so 9 is equal to 3 to the power of y now 9 can be simplified into a smaller number so that smaller number is simply 3 square and this is equal to 3 y so we can cancel out the basis and then y is equal to 2 so we have so we have our x value is equal to 0 and our y is equal to 2 so to check our answer whether the answers are correct so let's see from equation 1 you have 2 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of y is equal to 10 we have we know that the x value is 0 so we have 2 to the power of 0 plus the y value is 2 so we have 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 10 now 2 to the power of 0 is 1 plus 3 to the power of 2 9 this is equal to 10 so 1 plus 9 is 10 and 10 is equal to 10 so that means the answer of x equals 0 and y equals 2 is correct so if you enjoyed this video leave it thumbs up share with your friends or share with people who you feel will find the video helpful please subscribe to the channel it really really helps thanks for watching